Okay, so I did have like a 30 minute long video, but I'm not gonna subject y'all guys to that. We're gonna keep this a little bit longer than the than the TDLR one minute version, but maybe like five or six minutes. So this is what happened. I was building my pedals. I was struggling to strip the wire because I didn't have a proper wire stripper. They went down to that size. And so I was using a blade and a knife and other little things, scissors, and it took forever to get the proper cuts. I would accidentally cut it off. Sometimes I'd make it, but it'd still be too sliced where it wouldn't make a good enough connection. And um, that caused some issues. I had to rebuild a pedal because of that. And sometimes, don't ask me how this happened, but sometimes the wire, the metal, would get ripped like inside the wire in the middle of it randomly. And that took forever to figure out what the heck that problem was. So that delayed things significantly. Then um, I installed a transistor backwards. Oopsie, and that took forever to figure out what the heck I did wrong. And yeah, and also I'm building an extra pedal now because on my uh, germanium pedal, the one I did backwards, the wrong on accident, I accidentally used the wrong diode. But of course it still sounds fine with the wrong diode. It just sounds slightly different. But instead, I kind of liked it. So I'm going to leave it as is, but I'm going to build another one of the germanium ones with the proper diode, and I'll let you guys decide which one y'all think's better, and then I'll build the other two in that format. Now, I have since figured out how to implement the LED. I couldn't really find clear instructions that I could understand, so I just had to brute force figure it out myself, and thankfully I did. Thankfully it only took a little while to figure that out. Um, yeah. So there's bad news on that front. So there is one pedal that has an LED in the circuit as the main diode. Now I actually figured it out later that I could have mounted that in a way where it was mounted in the case where you could see it popping out. But I didn't think about that until after it was built. So there's a little hole drilled that you can look through and see the light. But I will build some more of those LED based ones where the LED is actually the diode in the circuit and that moves with the sound, but I'll mount them like into the case so you can see them better next time. So that'll be a good thing. Like I said, these pedals, even though these cases are a little bit bigger, I'm still having some space issues. I can't mount the LED properly. It has to be mounted kind of sideways, low on the side, above the knob, and that's kind of not ideal. If you're a person with OCD and everything needs to be level, um, these pedals, I'm sorry, but they're not gonna be for you. because. <laughs> I had to drill by hand everything. I don't have a drill press, and um, I didn't. I didn't like measure things out precisely because the way these they're not like an even like two inches across or like an even five centimeters across where I could just easily have it and you do the math where to put it. It's kind of an odd size, so the math was so difficult. I just like ugh. So I just drilled it by eyes by looking at it. And some of them came out like spot on perfect. And other ones are kind of wonky. So um, the wonky ones I've had a little trouble getting the space situation done right. So I will be upgrading to a larger case for the next um, batch of pedals. And I think some of y'all will appreciate that. Because it means the pedals will be nicer. They'll also be better built. Um, they'll have more room inside for you guys. Um, but they will be bigger. So if space is an issue, you... If space is an issue, definitely pick up one of this batch of like 30 pedals because they're just going to get bigger from here. Now, um, what else was I going to say? That's about it. Of course, when I build some that are the, sim the simple $50 ones that are knobless, switchless, those will be smaller pedals, but you know what I mean. Um, I've also built some cigar box pedals, which will be implemented. So, a lot of these things, um, I can't remember if I mentioned it yet or not, but I finally got my tax forms in. I had to file an extension because I lost my W-2, and I, I did that during this time. It took up some time. Also helped my grandfather build, he got this little computer desk thing, and I had to help him build it, motorized computer desk. And then he got, um, what do you call that? I don't know what this little thing, I don't know what it is, but it's like this little thing that holds... I don't know. It's like a little kind of shelf thingy. But I had to build that. Um, a few other little things. Another little things that have taken my time, you know. A lot of the issues. The issues have taken the most time in the wire stripping issue. Definitely. 
because I went to go buy the wire stripper. Walmart didn't have it, and Harbor Freight didn't have it, so I, everything was closed by the time I went to Walmart, and then so I had to go to Lowe's the next day, so that set me back another day. So, yeah. Thankfully, this seems like a lot. It seems like this would delay everything a week, but it's not. Then instead of coming out today, Monday, the first videos are going to start coming out Wednesday. And I'm going to release both videos um, where I shoot out the different pedals side by side with one instrument. And also videos where I take one pedal and play it with multiple instruments. So I'm going to be releasing all of those. So expect... Um, shoot. Expect 10 to 20 videos on these pedals. That's a lot, but yeah. There's going to be that many. And uh, I want to have them all, or at least the majority of them, released by Friday. Because I'm going to list, list these for sale Friday or Saturday. So yeah, it's a tight schedule. We're trying to meet it, but there's been some setbacks, but we're not letting them stop us. I think you guys are going to love these pedals. They sound great with the 303. At least most of them do. Um, I'm going to get y'all's feedback on the whole, um, what do you call it? What's the right word? Like which ones uh, of certain sounds y'all like better, and so I'll know what to aim towards. Like the... The, I'm doing something a little different. The main line of 20 are actually aimed at bassists because I know there's a bigger market. But all the one-offs and the germanium ones are aimed at keyboard players. Now, don't worry because the next main line design I have ready to go for the next batch of pedals, those are aimed at keyboard players. So, I just found this one way I tweaked it where it sounded really good on bass. And of course, this is originally a bass circuit, the Hemo Bass Fuzz. But one way I tweaked it, it was just so good with bass. Well, not really bass. I tested it with a guitar, but tuned down really low to simulate a bass, you know? And it's pretty dope. So, yeah. I think you'll like that. Well, that's that. Those are the delays I told you. Um, there's a shorter version, but if you've already watched this version, no point to watch that TDLR version. And, yeah, I also want to add this in while I have y'all here. I am going to expand the channel where I'm going to do more things. Eventually, I want to get to making music again. Um, that'll probably start sometime after I get all these pedals done. And also, I want to do album reviews. Not professional to like a wonky angle or Anthony Fantano level, but for my own personal level, not just like some little add-on to end the video saying I like this album, but a little more in-depth than that. And one last thing, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I've been filling out tons and tons of job applications because i got to work while I'm doing this, so that is also delayed things. So yeah. Well anyways, I thank you all for stopping by. Um, if you haven't seen that TDLR short version of this video, there's no point to watch it, no point at all. So don't waste your time. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.